Electronic variable diffusion for your camera is becoming a reality with a new technology from LC Tech. You're watching Cinity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi, this is Nino from Cinity here at IBC 2024. I'm at the LC Tech booth with Jasper. How are you? I am fine, thank you. We already know your amazing technology. Last year we talked about the variable ND technology that you guys patented and developed and that actually won on Cinity Award. Yes. Um, <laughs> and actually there's more news on variable ND, but we're going to talk about that at the end of this video. But you applied that same principle to diffusion, right? Exactly. So we have the liquid crystal technology available and we're always trying to find new things to do with that. So during the past year, as you said, we have been focusing on the electronic ND and now that is commercialized and we are ramping that. We are looking to other things to do. And we have a new invention that we are showing for the first time today, electronic diffusion based on liquid crystal technology. So how does it work? Um, so, uh, so we have a filter without voltage applied. It's fully clear. Fully clear. So not like the ND, which already starts at the certain level, so you need to actually remove it to have full view, full clear. Correct. So there's no diffusion at zero volt. Then when you apply voltage, we switch on a diffusion pattern. So if you look at traditional static filters, you can see a diffusion pattern. That is what we create by liquid crystal. And then we can control it continuously from zero diffusion to maximum diffusion. Yep. Okay, very cool. So actually there, are, there have been some lighting companies in the past that have this principle applied to their fixtures. And um, I mean, you're really making this for diffusion for camera filters, right? I just wonder, because with those, I think there was company, um, I don't recall all the names, but uh, we've reported about them before. One of them was Rotolite, I think, and some others also had something like this. The problem always being that um, actually the diffusion is too close to the light. And if it's too close to the light, the level of diffusion is not there, right? You need to remove it. Um, but you're really focusing on camera filters, right? Yes, so this is, a, we have heard and also seen that technology, so this is totally different with liquid crystals. So the first application is for the matte box filter, but we also think it can be applied to, to lens mounts, lens adapters, and we will also investigate it for internal filters. But matte box is the first one. Great, so you guys, just to make this clear, you're not actually producing the product, you're inventing the technology, and you're probably looking for partners or you already have partners to produce this? Uh, exactly. So we, we manufacture the filter itself, the glass, the switching glass. Then we sell this a little third party manufacturers that bring it to the market as end user product. So like for the END matte box that we showed uh, last year, we are now working with Tilta. So they are showing uh, prototypes in their booth of the end user product. It's going to be a product from Tilta, I guess. Exactly. So we hope quite soon, but you should uh, ask them. Very cool. And in terms of the diffusion, is this, you know, the prototype, are you happy with it? Is this something that's ready to become a product soon? Yes, we made a big breakthrough in the development earliest this year and have pushed to have this first working prototype today. So we are targeting a product launch to the third party manufacturers second quarter next year. Um, let's move back to anything else to say about the diffusion? Yes. So. Uh, the, the advantages of having this filter is that you can dial in exactly the level of diffusion on set. Very fine, precise control. It's repeatable, reliable. You can also change during filming. Bring in diffusion, take away diffusion. Uh, you can have local diffusion. So you have the diffusion in different areas of the screen. And also you can have the benefit of switching off the diffusion, uh, focus exactly, and then bring in the diffusion if you have problem with focusing and ha while having the diffusion. That's great. And of course, I guess in the future, it could also theoretically be combined with your variable ND and to come some kind of, I don't know, automatic ND we have seen uh, in, in Sony cameras, which use different technology for their variable ND, but they have automatic ND, right? Uh, maybe automatic diffusion makes sense too. Yeah, that is possible. That is up to our customers and us to work on together. Very cool. Um, anything else to say about the diffusion? It's a great new product. <laughs> it's a prototype and we hopefully see it soon and we'll demonstrate it in the B-roll. But there is some news also about the variable ND, right? This was made into a product together with Metabones. 
Yes, exactly. So we have been offering our small size sensor sized END filter to, to camera manufacturers. You can find it in high-end cinema cameras. We find it in lens mounts like the C-CAM is our ND uh, inside. But for the first time, we see it in a more reasonably priced consumer, prosumer product. So today, uh, Metabones are launching uh, END smart adapter based on our filter. So we have worked with them for quite some time to perfect this. Very cool. So this is uh, EF, like EEF adapter, right? You can put this on Sony cameras for EF lenses. Exactly. So it's uh, EF lens to E. It's powered by the camera, so you don't have to charge it. No loose cables, no batteries to worry about. Uh, the level of ND is controlled by the scroll wheel, half stepped increments. And also, uh, you said before, that it starts at two stops. So if you don't want ND, they have a very clever uh, switching mechanism, so swapping. Very nice. Of course, that's always been a problem with having a filter like this in the mount, that it's not so easy to take it out. So if you have the switch, to take it out, that's perfect. So you can leave it on your camera basically all day. Exactly. You don't have to manage about the clear glass and where that is, so you just swap it. So you, uh, matching clear glass, so you don't change the focal length. Very cool. No battery means also less worry. You you said it's uh, it's changing in which increments? Uh, half stop increments. So you can't do like a fader thing, right? Like uh, completely seamless. Not at this first version, but our technology definitely enables that. So. If they want to develop it, they can do. Very cool. Um, I mean, uh, pricing and availability, uh, you know? So it's available uh, shortly after the show, uh, 599 US dollar. Very cool. In theory, of course, I mean, I think a lot of people using Canon cameras with RF mount, the newer ones uh, that don't have variable ND filters, would like to have something like this. I mean, technically, I'm sure it's possible. It's probably dependent on Canon of allowing this, right? Yeah, you need to have play, uh, space to put the or ND between the lens and the, the camera body. So if there's space there, and well, there is RF EF should be possible, but you know, like we've seen very limited options of actually RF lenses from other manufacturers, other than Canon, uh, especially for full frame, they're not available, and that's probably a license issue. But we hope that Canon would change their mind, uh, because Sony users have all the flexibility of now using Canon EF glass on their E mount cameras and I hope that in the future also Canon users can use the old Canon glass with a variable ND field. Yeah, our technology is open to anyone that wants to do product, work on a product with on it. So, Very cool. Congratulations on the actual first product. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this can be very, very successful and hopefully we'll also see the variable diffusion in, in, the, in real life soon in on sets and so on. Thank you, Jasper. Thanks everybody for watching, stay tuned to Zenity for a lot more videos from IBC 2024 and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, thanks.